My name is Deirdre. Deirdre. Yes, Deirdre. Deirdre. Actually, this is not my shop, it's my sister's, but unfortunately she is out and the only one here who could take care of the shop is I. she did actually shoot me in the face with an arrow when we were quite young. The scar is healed, but my vision in this eye is not as good as it used to be. Yes. Yes. Once she told me that, she is surprised that I can go out in public without getting my throat cut. Because to her, my voice sounds like a harpy throat singing with a banshee, both of which have severe bronchitis, that's what she told me. It actually was quite funny when she said it, but later she made it very clear that she was perfectly sincere. So, I suppose that she is what she is. Her name? Her name is Deity. Yes, our parents named her Deity. And I think that she took that to heart. She runs the place as if to remain anonymous. Okay. Well, then I'll just call you Adventurer, if that's alright with you. I'd love to. Yeah. Our parents moved away a long time ago, and I don't know exactly where they went. They were supposed to go to a royal wedding, but it appears that if they did survive and who wrote the letter, but that's neither here nor there. Oh no, I could never leave. I could never ever go. No, you see, my horns get a bit itchy sometimes. It's normal. You see, I could not leave Deity behind. I think that's how often she goes scalavanting off to revels and parties and things like that. Someone has to take care of the shop. Don't you think, Adventurer? Don't we all have responsibilities? Don't we all have our obligations? Obligations more important than that of our, than our heart. just silly. People don't always get what they want, Adventure. We don't always get to have our dreams and our, and our wishes and our hopes fulfilled. We 
it's just like that adventure. Surely you can't be so naive that you can't see that, that you don't understand that. It is the first lesson that my sister taught me, Evendra. I suppose it is fun to imagine the dream. Anyway, did you want something? This is not my shop, but I think that um, the time that I spent here has helped inform me of our inventory and perhaps I could help you pick out a few items. I'd love to. Adventurer, would you be interested in seeing our, our most basic potions? Carry Ophelia has returned with our order. It has been perhaps hmm, at least two decades, but I'm sure at some point she will get back to us and we will have more potions at our disposal. Until then, we just have the most basics of health, mana, and stamina. Would you be interested in seeing them at Very first is our typical health potion. It just helps you feel better. Heals your wounds, they close up as if by magic. Although of course we know that it's science that makes potions. <laughs> but what is actually interesting is we could make them any colour we want, but people get confused if they're not certain shades, and so health becomes red. Yes, we have plenty for you, Adventure. How many would you like to purchase? That is quite a lot, Adventure. You have gold to spend, of course. As much as I'd like to say that I do enjoy your spirit, Adventurer, we do need coin. Okay. Then 20 potions it is. Health potions. Yes, I won't forget. so much coin adventure. Were you, the, were you the child of noble? Truly you can must be joking. The princess. You know the princess. I'm not sure that I believe you. There's something going on recently. Didn't she disappear? Hmm? You? I don't, I don't mean to laugh, but I've never heard of you. Why would the royal family choose you to save their princess? I see. You saved her once. you could do it again, if you really have done it once. And if you do, then these potions will be very, very helpful to have at your disposal. You'll have to face many creatures and monsters and people. You can also be monsters. And I suppose you'll have a lot of injuries, won't you? this helps. It will, it will help. I, I'm afraid I can be a bit... I can be a bit modest, but Adventure, I truly do want you to be well. As 
my sister Dati would say, she would say that well, you need to make sure they survive so they can come back and give us more coin. However, I actually am already quite fond of you, Dendra. Yes, and I would like to see you again. So, if you're ever in the area, please do come back. So, 20 health potions is alright. of how much magic that you know, how many spells, if it's really your expertise, you can try, but I do have a mana potion here. It is blue, because again, people expect things to be in certain shades, and we were told that blue reminds people of mana and magic, and so blue. It actually does taste like blue raspberry sour as well. We make them in both flavours. It tastes quite good, but it does stain your teeth blue. Yes. It does actually remind me of those specific mermaids with the blue teeth. Beautiful, but terrifying. really enjoy uses to go on all of these <sighs> go to all these parties that she goes to I wonder when she'll return maybe I shouldn't be here when she does I, I told you that she was perfectly sincere about thinking my throat should be cut since then I do sleep with a knife or two under my pillow at Ventura I do not feel safe otherwise. Yes. Yes, I am actually quite afraid of her. And I do truly not to leave this shop. And perhaps go and work for another shop. One that's not run by my sister. Mm. Again, dreams and wishes. get, as my sister would say, we can get power through magic. And it may not fulfill the wildest of wishes, but it will let you throw fireballs at your enemies. So, there's that. as well. Alright. And then, the last of our basic potions that we have in stock is one for stamina, in yellow, because I've already explained, but people just like to have yellow, so it's actually quite beautiful. Tastes a bit more like butterscotch to some people. We also have another batch that tastes like lemon. Yes, like a lemon poppy seed muffin, something like that. I 
actually do use poppy seed in our, our some of our health potions are more strong ones. Helps with the pain. Just like 20 of these as well. Only 10. Alright. So that example we have weapons. We have different kinds of weapons. Yes, this one, this axe right here. You want to look at it? Here we are. It's got a nice leather bound handle, good for grip. It has a nice weight to it. Heavy to give you some momentum in your strike, but not too heavy that it'll feel like it's about to fly out of your hand. It's really lovely workmanship, actually. Oh. That was a silly mistake to make. But it is a bit old, but sturdy. I think that it could do you well if you like very close range melee combat. very interesting handle and the details of the blade are quite beautiful, don't you think? The handle is firm, the weight is perfect and the blade, it is quite sharp when you want it to and when you don't, it just somehow seems to dull. And if you change what you want, its properties change. Ow. It's imbued with a bit of magic, adventure. Gives you a little bit more luck. And if someone were to take it, you can simply will it to grow dull. Of course, then it could be quite an interesting object to bludgeon somebody. As far as the blade goes, it is actually quite useless once you've changed your intent for it. What do you think, Adventure? Are you interested? Yes. Ophelia likes to deliver some very strange items that she's come up with, many of them very cursed. Um, this is actually one of the more normal ones that she's given us, it's reasonable and reliable and it's not too much out of pocket but of course you are paying for a, an enchanted weapon which does drive the price up a bit. Do you want this? The craftsmanship is sublime, I promise you. Okay, I will add that your order. Adventure, I do have a question for you. What is it that you want the most? And who is it that you want the most? Sometimes Ophelia sends us love potions, but I've never used them before. I feel they are nasty and dishonest and 
sort of violating. Plus, the laugh doesn't really feel as true as it does to be truly loved. Have you ever been truly loved, Adventurer? the sword. It's a lovely blade. You don't want it. Hmm. Let me think. Perhaps a knapsack to carry your items in. I noticed that yours is quite small, nothing more than a pouch. Oh, I see. That's where you hold your coin. Would you like something bigger to carry potions in and other small things? Perhaps scrolls or magic potions or little trinkets and herbs that you find on your travels. If you're going to save the princess, then I'm sure you will find many little bubbles that you'll need a place to store them. Would you like to see something that I've made myself. Deity doesn't know about this, but I do actually like to create certain items in my spare time. And this. This is an upsack that I've made myself. Lots of little pockets. You can zip it away. There's a drawstring bag. You can open it like this. And do not worry, adventurer, for the drawstring will never open when you don't want it to. The item will never fall out, I assure you. Inside, there are more pockets, more zippers. Things to store all of your items in your inventory. I've worked. Worked quite hard on it. Do you think it's something you? In. Do you mean it? You really want one? Name your price. <laughs> You're too kind, Adventure. I 
suppose that's all you'll be needing from me. Do not fret, adventure. It's nothing. Merely wishes and dreams. I suppose it's time for payment. Yes. I suppose it is. Almost time to say goodbye. A very lovely pouch. I suppose I will count them out now. you'll be on your way now. Do you really want
First, I struggled to say, for I've been told so many times to never say it aloud. But perhaps I will whisper it in your ear. items from the shop, grab them, put them in a sack and run and leave and never leave a note and never come back. I wish for my sister to come back to ruin. To no money, no inventory, no sister to boss around. Completely empty handed with nothing but her own ill fortune. And my second is to fall in love. True love. And I don't mean like fairy tales say true love, I just mean something real. Something special, adventure. The kind of love that saves you. The kind of love that keeps you alive. Keeps you going. That's what I want. And they are but wishes and Don't say it if you don't mean it. I do not respond well to lies, adventure. I mean it. You take me with you. Well, I don't really know if I want to go and save the princess. I I haven't really decided if I like her or the ice cream better, to be honest, but if you could take me just to another place, to another town, go through one dungeon with me, one adventure, one small little side quest, if you will, then I would love to go with you. And then I want to make it on my own. You do that for me, adventure. There's nothing left to wait for. <laughs> <laughs>